Hi everyone, welcome to the feature demonstration of the new infotainment system on both the 2023 Kia Seltos. I take you through the various options and features available on the system and show you what the system is capable of. So check out the video and let me know if you have any queries in the comment section below. So let's get to it. When you press the power button right here, it brings the screen alive and it takes you to the home screen. The landing page of the home screen uh, shows you the time and date and uh, on the right side you have the weather conditions, uh, the location and a minimalistic map. From the home screen, if you scroll to the right, you get uh, all these options to play around with. Let us go through these options one by one. The first one is map. Now this map is basically from the navigation system provided by Kia based on here maps. You have an option of updating these maps through over the air updates. If you go to the next option, which is navigation, it shows you uh, various categories. POI. POI is basically point of interest and it like uh, petrol pumps, uh, restaurants, cafes, uh, farmers, etc. The next option is uh, previous destinations. Basically, whatever destination you had entered into the system prior to the navigation, it will show up here. If you select uh, traffic at the bottom of the screen, it shows up where the traffic blocks are uh, in the nearby uh, areas. So these are the traffic blocks that the maps are suggesting. And if you select uh, Kia service, it will show you all the authorized uh, service centers of Kia in the adjacent areas. So this is very helpful in case your vehicle breaks down and uh, you know you need to call SOS or find the nearest uh, service center in the locality. The next option is Kia Connect, uh, which is essentially Kia's uh, connected car uh, feature with that dongle. So you have all these options uh, here. You can share your destination with your uh, fellow passengers. You have a built-in calendar. Then uh, it shows you the weather. Basically, this is exactly the same uh, weather conditions that are relayed uh, to the home screen. Uh, if you come back and uh, if you navigate to the home screen right here, this one, this is basically taking from the Kia Connect app. Okay, so you have all these options through the Kia Connect uh, connected car uh, system. Then uh, when you press the phone, you have the option of uh, adding your uh, smartphone into the system. It gives you all these step-by-step -step instructions on uh, how to add the phone under the Bluetooth uh, option. The next option is phone projection, which is basically, you know, uh, connecting your smartphone, your Android phone or uh, iPhone through the system, which I'll be covering it in due time. The next option is voice memo. As the name suggests, it uh, stores the voice recordings on the onboard memory of the system. You can like record something. Hi, this is a test recording. So the recording is saved with the location and timestamp. Record something. Hi, this is a test recording. So that essentially are uh, voice memos. But uh, this is the first time I'm seeing uh, voice memos on board a car system. Never seen that before. Next up, if you press the climate option, it takes you to the car's HVAC settings, wherein you can play around with uh, all these settings. The Kia Seltos now comes with dual zone uh, climate control. That is, you have one for the driver and one for the co-driver. So you can set it individually here, or you can also set it uh, manually using the buttons given on the climate control system. It changes like that. So you have two options to change that. It also shows the air quality index, AQI, outside temperature, etc. If you want to sync this, uh, both will come in sync with the same. You can also change uh, the various modes. So where do you want the blower to, you know, blow the air into? You can also select uh, the blower speed settings from 1 to 8 levels of adjustment. The next option is the valet mode, wherein uh, you lock the system using a password. If you are handing over the car to a valet for parking, and he'll not be able to change anything on the system or uh, play around with the settings. On that note, uh, I would advise not to pass the car to a valet and park it by yourself, even if it means taking a little bit of extra time to avoid any untoward incident. So that's about uh, valet mode. Uh, the next option is the quiet mode. In the quiet mode, what happens is speakers on the rear door, uh, they are not uh, you know, being used when you enable it. So if you have any passengers on the rear uh, seat uh, resting, and you do not want them to be disturbed, you can enable this. The next option is the sound mode lamp. Basically, if you want to convert your uh, CELTOS into a 
uh, dance floor you have the ambient lights which have uh, various options and depending on the music that's being played it will uh, you know change the lighting on the car if you select the color theme you will see all these various presets that uh, kia has given us basically these uh, rgb multicolor leds they glow based on uh, the settings chosen you have the ambient light on the door cards on the dashboard and uh, near the speaker grills etc so if you change this setting now you can see it's glowing at a different uh, pace so that's basically a party trick you can also set these leds to glow with a specific uh, light now this is super red now if you set to refreshing seas it will glow with a light purple hue that's basically as far as uh, the mood lighting or the ambient lighting options are concerned now next is uh, radio so in radio they have these cool uh, uh, vacuum tubes which is supposed to glow the earlier uh, vacuum tubes which are there which got eventually replaced with transistors so you get all these stations you can enable the station here if you click an empty tab and uh, press on the favorites it gets saved as a preset station there so that's how you set these station presets and uh, you can browse through the st various station lists through this and that's pretty much it for then you come to media if you have your phone connected through android auto or apple carplay it will show up or here if you have a usb music uh, connected through a pen drive that will also show here i tested the usb music format through two different sources basically uh, I had an MKV, but uh, the MKV file did not play. But uh, surprisingly, it played a FLAC file. I'm going to show you that. So this is a sample uh, file. This is a FLAC file and it plays a FLAC file for all your audio files out there. Now, so if you come to media, there is also an option called Sounds of Nature. Basically, Kia has put in some, you know, various... Uh, they're probably aware that... Uh, users at some point would want to listen to something other than the tracks or the radio so you have all these preset uh, it'll also change your uh, you know display i must admit it's a good set of tracks on a boring day so that's pretty much it and uh, you can also have this display off, you know, to avoid any distractions. You can enable that from here, these three uh, lines right here next to home button. And you also have a manual, which is uh, basically your user manual. Then we come to settings. Now, here's where you have a lot of things to fiddle around with. All the settings that is there in the vehicle, basically your driver assistance system, your heads up display. How do you want the display to be because based on the user you may want to set uh, the display which comes right here so that you can adjust it and uh, the various content selection that comes on the heads up display all this can be enabled quite a good uh, heads up display i must uh, admit i'll show you that in a moment then uh, you have options for the instrument cluster how do you want to because now the cluster is completely a uh, lcd based uh, unit you can adjust all the options right here which you know adjust the brightness uh, you can also enable a blue light filter uh, to you know cause less strain to the eyes what else then we have uh, your fuel economy content selection you have a welcome sound that uh, plays when you turn on the system Wait, let me just show you that Then you have the climate setting. How do you want the internal air circulation to be? Then uh, the humidification options. Then the HVAC controls. Then you have the lights. So how many flashes would you want? Would you want five flashes, the lane change indicators? Do you need seven flashes or do you need it completely off? You can also enable uh, the mirror to turn on, uh, mirror to unfold when the door is locked or when the driver approaches the car with the key. The next option is headlight timeout, which is basically your leaving home lights. That is, you arrive in a dark basement with your car and you lock your car. 
the exterior lights will turn on for about uh, 15 seconds and it will turn itself off. So it basically lights up the way ahead. The next is the high beam assist. Basically it reduces the glare, the front camera senses uh, the light coming from uh, the forward car and it reduces uh, the intensity of the beam. So it does not cause a glare. Then you have uh, uh, illumination of the interior lights. When you want to drive peacefully at the night and you don't want any distractions, you can uh, turn these interior lights on, off. Then you have all this uh, auto lock and auto unlock when the vehicle is off or when you take the, when shift the gear lever to B. Similarly, when you, when do you want the auto lock to enable this is an uh, option that you must uh, keep your car uh, on at all times because it is safety related. Then you have these uh, convenient service intervals. Uh, you can choose uh, based on your uh, usage, 10,000, 15,000 kilometers or 365 days here. So it says in 15,000 kilometers. Similarly, so in it will remind you this or if you want it to be at the default it would uh, set it to default which is uh, 15,365 days you can also enable wireless charging system for your mobile devices you have a wireless charging chi charging port right here and you have a small vent for cooling the mobile because uh, induction charging or wireless charging heats up the mobile like anything so it enables that as well that's that and uh, that's as far as uh, convenience is concerned so these are the settings with related to navigation uh, this is for the built-in navigation if you want the vehicle speed to be shown if you want the traffic information to be displayed you have to enable all this in the various uh, guide options but you know i would not uh, choose this uh, navigation option i would want to rely on google maps or apple maps because that's much more intuitive and uh, you're used to a certain sort of guidance so this one is a little too you know uh, detailed and i wouldn't want so much of information because i've got used to both google maps as well as apple maps so these are the options for the built-in uh, navigation system This is as far as, uh, so Bose has uh, provided the system here, just like the previous uh, Celtos. And the sound quality is pretty good. I must appreciate that uh, the number of speakers and uh, the subwoofer, the center speaker, everything adds on to a very nice uh, sound stage inside the car. If you were to dampen this car using uh, insulation sheets and uh, make it all the more silent, you know, with the right amount of tuning uh, at a guy who knows his stuff, it will be a very nice uh, music system. So this is the fader. Uh, do you want it to push in, in the forward and uh, back? And this is uh, for the equalizer setting. Then you have various guidance volumes here. That is if you want to uh, set the volume for the various alerts, beeps, navigation guidance, etc. So these are the options for that. Then your radio noise control and uh, various options. Basically, uh, when you have that uh, radio enabled, uh, whatever filtered uh, noise is there, that would reduce. So that's as far as radio noise control. And you have the options for the driver assistance system. Uh, so it's best to enable these two because uh, it lowers all other uh, volumes when you know and uh, so that's as far as uh, sound is concerned and uh, you have the connected devices here basically when you have your smartphone connected to the system you can adjust the various uh, volumes for the voice guidance or the media through these options here similarly this is for uh, the media the various so so many options to tinker around with then you have the bluetooth uh, connection setting uh, if you enable your uh, bluetooth system it would uh, show you the system here you also have the option of using split screen for both uh, android auto as well as carplay because you have such a wide uh, 10.25 inch display 
two third of the screen will be used for uh, the system and the rest is for cars functionality. Then you can choose uh, various user profiles. Under user profiles, you can set uh, various profiles like guest or uh, any other profiles that you have selected with all the options saved and it would save in the system. Then you have voice recognition as well. So you can change this here. So Kia has built in a voice recognition system in this car. So if you say, you know, open sunroof. Opening the sunroof. Open driver window. Opening the driver's window. Close driver window. Closing the driver's window. Close sunroof. Closing the sunroof. So these are some of the prompts that are there. Uh, they already have it listed uh, here. If you click on the commands button. Some available commands are listed below. In this screen, voice commands are not recognized. So these are some of the preset uh, commands that you can uh, speak. Anyway, so that's as far as uh, voice recognition is concerned. Now, when you click on layout, the first option is uh, the theme, which basically gives you the various themes for the instrument cluster layout. You have uh, three themes, classic A, B, C, depending on uh, your uh, drive modes. And you also have a dynamic theme. So this is classic A theme. This is classic B. This is classic B. This is uh, classic C. And you have this dynamic uh, display where it looks like it's emulating, uh, you know, uh, nature outside. So that's a uh, dynamic display. Then you can uh, select a screensaver. If you want a digital clock, analog clock, that's basically when you turn off the system you would get a display like this if you keep a digital clock you'd get something like this you also have the option of enabling a split screen then this is for settings of the display brightness blue light like i said uh, in in case you want to reduce the uh, you know intensity of this uh, display if you want to make it slightly warm so it causes less strain to the eye. You can do it here. Then you have the button here. So the custom button here, basically you have this uh, button right here. So this one can be enabled for uh, various options, uh, which uh, Kia has already mentioned here it can be used for Kia Connect, for quiet mode, it can be for display on off, things like that. Then the mode button, you can enable it to have um, any of this uh, here to cycle through all these uh, options that would uh, various modes of uh, audio basically. Then do you want to change the favorite station or the frequency that can be done through this, the volume, tune, no then uh, we come to kia connect when it's basically the connected uh, app technology so that's that then you have the general settings what is the um, model and uh, it can get an ota update which can be done through this so when it releases it can uh, install the updates automatically which can be enabled using this option right here the system has a storage of 128 mb so in case you want to store something like uh, all your voice memos and all it would show the capacity used here then your time and date settings language 
uh, in addition to English, they have these following Indian languages. So that's a good thing. Also, I have Korean here at the end. Nice. What type of keyboard do you want? So that's as far as this uh, huge display is concerned. So, yeah. Now I'm going to show you once I connect this to Apple CarPlay. Shows a notification CarPlay connected. And when you enable it, res screen resolution is 1920 by 720. So a very crisp uh, screen. The resolution is much, much better than what I've seen in many cars out there. Then you can enable any one of these maps. So that's as far as uh, Apple CarPlay is concerned. But uh, here is a bummer. The top of the line trims, uh, the GTX and uh, the X-Line variants do not come with uh, wireless CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. Whereas the middle trims, which comes with uh, a smaller touchscreen, the 8-inch touchscreen with the two knobs on uh, the corners, that comes with the wireless CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. I don't know why Kia chose to do like that, but seems like a variant mix-up. So when you engage the reverse mode, you get this display wherein the complete uh, 360 degree view from the front camera and you have two cameras on the side mirrors and one at the uh, hatch or the tailgate and uh, this is the visibility but it also has uh, based on uh, the steering input <coughs> as you can see it has dynamic guidelines also additionally it has uh, two different views and uh, you can change the settings here these are from the views from the two side mirrors this is from the tailgate and this one is from the top basically a zoomed in view of uh, this uh, view so that is when you engage the reverse and uh, this view is from the front cam mounted on the front grille so guys uh, that completes the feature demonstration of the new improved infotainment system on the 2023 kia seltos kia has given an amazing user friendly system which is also shared with the new hyundai verna there are hardly any complaints here i hope this video was useful if you like the video please hit the like button and give me a subscribe i'd be really grateful thanks for watching until next time guys